Anna Modayel Mani was born on 23rd August 1918 in Travancore, Kerala. She initially wanted to pursue medicine but later decided to take physics and enrolled in the honors program in physics at the Presidency College in Madras. She graduated with a BSc honors degree in physics and chemistry. In 1940, Anna Mani obtained a scholarship to do research in physics at the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore under the supervision of Nobel laureate Sir C V Raman. In Dr Raman's laboratory, Anna Mani worked on the spectroscopy of diamonds and rubies. The application of fluorescent spectroscopy is a powerful and effective tool to study the physical and chemical behavior of macromolecules. Anna Mani recorded and analyzed fluorescence absorption and Raman spectra including the temperature dependence and polarization effects of over 30 different diamonds. Between 1942 and 1945, she published 5 papers on luminescence of diamonds and rubies. In August 1945, she submitted her PhD dissertation at Madras University. Though her dissertation involved ample research work, she was refused a PhD as she did not have a master's degree. Undeterred, Anna Mani then moved to Britain to study physics on a government scholarship for an internship in the Imperial College London. Although her preference was to pursue research in physics, she ended up specializing in metrological instrumentation as it was the only scholarship available to her at that time. But it began a lifelong passion and contributed in enriching India's metrological mission. Anna Mani returned to India in 1948 and joined the Indian Metrological Department at Pune as a scientist and in charge of construction of radiation instrumentation. At IMD, she standardized the drawings of about 100 weather-related instruments for production and also set up monitoring stations across the country to monitor solar radiations to help India harness solar energy. In 1960, Mani continued her work on measuring atmospheric ozone. This was before the world even understood the ozone layer's functions. She designed an instrument called Ozone Sonde to measure atmospheric ozone. Anna Mani also set up a meteorological observatory at ISRO's Thumba rocket launching facility in Kerala. Her work on measuring wind speeds in over 700 locations across the country also laid the foundation for India's wind energy dreams. Anna Mani was a remarkable meteorologist and physicist who retired as the Deputy Director General of the Indian Meteorological Department in 1976. She subsequently returned to the Raman Research Institute in Bangalore as a visiting professor for the next 3 years. This was the very place she had begun her research career in 1940 as a young pioneering science researcher. Anna Mani passed away on August 16, 2001 in Kerala.